Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Amazing press conference with President Trump today. Very long, very blunt. The talking points will be in our second segment so we can run down what the president said in our first block. He is preoccupied with two main issues, illegal leaks coming from national intelligence and hatred toward him from the national press. Perhaps never before has the sitting president lashed out at the media so intensely. Unfortunately, much of the media in Washington, D.C., along with New York, Los Angeles, in particular, speaks not for the people, but for the special interests and for those profiting off a very, very obviously broken system. The press has become so dishonest that if we don't talk about it, we are doing a tremendous disservice to the American people. Tremendous disservice. The president singling out CNN and excoriating that network for, quote, hateful coverage. Bernie Goldberg will analyze that in just a few moments. On policy, the president says his administration is being damaged because people inside the U.S. intelligence agencies are leaking classified stuff. I spoke to the president of Mexico, had a good call. All of a sudden, it's out for the world to see. It's supposed to be secret. It's supposed to be either confidential or classified in that case. Same thing with Australia. All of a sudden, people are finding out exactly what took place. President saying he will find out who the leakers are and they will be prosecuted. Also, Mr. Trump defended his administration, saying it's done more in a short period of time than anyone thought possible. He also pointed to a daily Rasmussen poll, which has his job approval rating today at 55%. Then he said the problems he's facing are worse than he thought. To be honest, I inherited a mess. It's a mess. At home and abroad, a mess. Jobs are pouring out of the country. You see what's going on with all of the companies leaving our country, going to Mexico and other places. Low pay, low wages, mass Instability overseas, no matter where you look. The Middle East, a disaster. North Korea, we'll take care of it, folks. We're going to take care of it all. I just want to let you know, I inherited a mess. Now, it should be noted, President Obama said the same thing when he took over for President Bush the Younger. The tone of the press conference was combative, yet the president was in command, didn't take any guff, and answered most of the questions directly. Here's why National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was fired. The thing is, he didn't tell our vice president properly, and then he said he didn't remember. So either way, it wasn't very satisfactory to me. And I have somebody that I think will be outstanding for the position. Looking forward, the president said he will have a new executive order on refugees by next week. He will have a revision of Obamacare ready by March. And he reiterated he doesn't believe anything he does will be covered fairly by many in the press. Joining us now from the White House, John Roberts, who questioned the president today. So he did not answer you when you asked him if he had read the transcript of General Flynn's conversation with the Russian ambassador. Were you able to get us any more information on that, John? Uh, Bill, he did not answer me directly, only to say that uh, from what he saw and what he heard, he believed that uh, General Flynn had not acted improperly. So I did a little bit of digging this afternoon. I discovered that the president was, in fact, and you won't hear this anywhere else, Bill, this is exclusive information for you, the president was, in fact, fully briefed on the content of those conversations that General Michael Flynn had with the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak, by people who would know what the content of those phone conversations was, and that uh, under repeat uh, questioning during an investigation conducted by the White House Counsel's Office, General Flynn, I'm told, had a full recollection of what he talked about with the Russian ambassador. You'll remember that General Flynn had initially said that he didn't talk about sanctions. Then he said, well, maybe I don't remember. I'm not 100 percent sure. Well, he is 100 percent sure, and he told the White House Counsel's Office and other people who talked to him in those interviews as the Counsel's Office was conducting the investigation what he talked to the Russian ambassador about. All right. Now, I'm assuming that the uh, White House counsel, what's his name again? Because uh, Don, Trump... Don McGahn. Okay. I'm assuming that he's the one that briefed uh, Donald Trump about it. But there is a transcript uh, available. I'm just wondering why the president didn't read it himself. 
perhaps we'll learn that next week. But be that as it may, um, I thought that when he started off on the leakers, that this was a way to obscure um, if General Flynn had really done any damage to this country. You know, you just deflect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into a different area. Did you see it that way? Uh, I mean, certainly you can deflect. And let, me, let me just go back to what you said, uh, and I'll just repeat uh, that the president was fully briefed about the content of those conversations by people who would know what was said in those conversations, and we're not talking about the White House counsel. Now, back to your question, Bill. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of what the president did today in that press conference was deflect. When you go off on the media about negative stories and fake news, you're deflecting from what the issues of the day are. You're trying to change the narrative. The same thing with the leaks. This is not about what the uh, national security advisor did, who he talked to, or what he said in those conversations. This is about the people who leaked classified information. Yeah, that's a now, pretty on, serious uh, subject. I mean, I. It is a serious subject, was, which is why, right. which is why the president has reached out to the Department of Justice to launch a criminal investigation into who is behind this. Now, other presidents have launched investigations into leaks, and they've really gone nowhere. I mean, I think that uh, you know, Scooter Libby is probably one of the only people who's been caught up in, in recent memory, at least, uh, you know, saying yeah, things Dick to, chief of staff to somebody about it, that, that crazy were, yeah, plane. Exactly. Thing. But let me, and, let, and, let me ask and again, you this. It, was, it was not being truthful in an interview. Do Go you ahead, know Bill. who taped? Flynn? Who taped him? Well, it would be the NSA. Okay. Uh, they, 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 went to a FISA, what, they went to a FISA court and they got a warrant for a wiretap, and it's the NSA that typically did handles think, those things. Did, did then they Flynn collect know? the intelligence, they give it to the FBI. Did Flynn, well, you know, Flynn know, you know he what, was being Bill, taped by the NSA? It, if, you, if you're talking to the Russian ambassador, you should know. You've got to be pretty assured that you're going to be taped uh, by that. somebody. I said that. Yeah. But we yeah, don't know say whether last Flynn was told. Right that he was being taped. We don't know that. Well, they wouldn't tell him. Okay. So, because this is fascinating. So Flynn makes the call. He should know, being a sophisticated guy who was in charge of the Defense Intelligence Agency, that the Russians are taping it, for damn sure, and that the mm -hmm. NSA is probably taping it because it's a call to the Russian ambassador. But they don't tell him, hey, we're taping this. So that then, if you look at the charges floating around, that Flynn lied to the FBI about what he said, that's the latest, and we'll get into that on this program a little bit later. Okay? Yeah, that's, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't stack up if Flynn knew he was being taped. How, why would he lie to the FBI about it? I mean, he's gonna, that's a crime. You, know, you, would, you would think that it's a person who had the sophisticated knowledge yeah. of, of, of uh, electronic intercepts as he did and would because he was the head of the DIA would not lie to the FBI about the content of a telephone he conversation. Yeah, he had he a pretty good assurance knew. knowing that was being taped. So maybe there is, I don't know, I'm just uh, giving right. somebody the benefit of the doubt that maybe there was something about this idea that initially well, well, he didn't recall what he talked about. All of that would seem to be a stretch. All too. of that will come out and we'll report it honestly unlike some of the others. I'm going to hold John over for another minute. Um, I'm going to debate Bernie Goldberg um, down the line here on whether mm -hmm. the president was unhinged in the press conference. Did you see him as unhinged at all? Not, not at all. Okay. And in fact, he, he made that point to say people will say he's ranting and raving. He's not. He's having fun. And, and I thought, and I've talked to my colleagues about this, and they have agreed with me that the president has a level of confidence in that sort of setting now that he never had before. And I think it's by virtue of the experience of going through the campaign, going through the election, the transition, and now being president of the United States. He has developed the confidence that he didn't have yeah, before. And, and I mean, he he held court for an hour and 20 minutes and I think knocked down a lot of the things that were thrown against him. Yeah, I, I think and, he, and he's as the a best president, spokesman. I think he did a good job of it. He's the best spokesman for him. Is the CNN guys, are they mad? Or are they saying, hey, well, this is bigger ratings for us because people tune in tonight. Are they mad? Yeah, I talked, I, I talked to Jim Acosta, and he was quite happy that he got the amount yeah, of time that he did with President Trump in a very spirited <laughs> back and forth. I think they both made their points, and I think they both came out of it okay. All right, John. We appreciate your good work. Thank you. Next on the rundown.